Hi and welcome to the Boozy Baker 12 Days of Christmas Countdown. Uh, we're going to be bringing you lots of goodies over the 12 days uh, in the lead up to Christmas and today we're doing... Panettone. We are indeed. It's a nice Italian classic um, and I've got to say you guys, I'm warning you now, warning you mum, mm. it's a technical one. Oh. I know, I know. On the whole we're going to do some really nice quick ones. Yeah. So this does come with a bit of um, a warning triangle. This is... Uh, for, you know, having a bit of a time in the kitchen, uh, time that we're doing other things maybe, okay. uh, you know, go and remake. Fitting it in. Yeah, remake, do some bread, make some cinnamon buns, whatever you want to do. Uh, but this is going to take a while because it's in stages. Okay. But the results, I mean, who doesn't love a panettone at I Christmas? I do. You know what? I've never made one. You're not? No. So. Come here first. Mm. Right. So we're going to start um, with making the yeast um, active. So you're going to need 220 mils of warm milk. So I've already warmed this. And how warm is warm? About body temperature, okay. um, like tepid. You, you want to not feel a chill, but it not be too hot. Okay. And then, oh, I'm using the wrong things. Um, sugar, um, overall, you're going to need 60 grams of sugar, but we're just going to pinch a teaspoon to add to our milk. Okay. I will go through this again. Yeah. So we're going to stir that sugar into our warm milk. All of that does is help activate the yeast quickly. Mm -hmm. So 220 ml of milk, one teaspoon of sugar, and then we're going to put in seven grams of yeast. Now this can be fast acting, uh, fresh, dried, as long as it's alive. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I say alive, I mean you can get out of date yeast. Uh, it won't work. Um, so I'm going to just stir that in. It's not going to dissolve like the sugar. It's going to sit on top. Um, do you not think that looks a bit like leftover cereal? It does a bit. It looks like the kids it, put it way does, too much milk mm, into their cereal bowl. It doesn't look very appetising at this moment. No, it doesn't. I don't think this will ever look particularly appetising. It does smell nice. It's Well, it's that kind of mm. bread dough yeah, smell, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Um, so what you need to do is put your yeast in and then just set that aside for a minute so that it starts to foam and bubble a bit. Mm -hmm. Nothing like extreme, no. uh, but you will certainly see that yeast grow across the surface of the milk uh, until you can't see the milk, and then it will start to rise upwards a bit. Okay, so you so, need to get the temperature of your milk right. Yes, so you do. Not too hot and not too cold. Exactly. So sort of tepid. Uh, so whilst that's doing, uh, we've got two jobs. We've got... Um, dry ingredients to put together mm -hmm. uh, into this bowl and I've also got some fruit that I want to spike with a bit of um, rum or brandy. Yep. I've gone with brandy, is that okay? Yes. Um, so I've got in this bowl 170 grams of dried mixed fruit. Okay. Um, now you, you can use whatever you like really in a panettone because you can get chocolate ones, can't you? You can, you can. yeah. And yeah. You, can, you can put cranberries or dates I I've, like the traditional. I've just gone with quite a traditional mix of mixed yeah. fruit, 170 grams, and I'm just going to pop in mm. a good glug of brandy. Is that a measure, glug? Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. It's really scientific. Mm -hmm. um, now, we're not going to add this to anything yet, but we just want it to have some time to soak that the up. The glug's about a tablespoon. I'm watching. Well, I think so. Or it might be more in a minute. Well, it might be more. It depends how much I think that's going to soak in. It's not very generous, is no, it? I feel it's not. Do you think it needs to be two tablespoons? I think it's a double glug. A double glug, okay. Mm -hmm. There we go, two tablespoons. That was quite a big one. Well, are you complaining? No, no, I'm no, just... No, you like your brandy? I'm just, you know, keeping people so they know what they're doing. Right, so two tablespoons yeah. of uh, brandy, or it could be Cointreau, or... Uh, Rum, whatever you like, really. Um, and I'm just going to stir that in and coat the fruit. Gosh, that smells nice. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and I'm just... I've got into brandy, actually. I Have quite, you? Yeah, I do quite like a brandy. My dad ice. used to drink brandy. It's a new oh, thing yeah. for me. Is it? No, yeah. I've never drunk brandy. Um, so I'm going to leave the fruit um, to, to just on its own for a minute. Um, there's a lot of waiting around on this. We're not mm -hmm. going to wait around. We're going to go and do other things and come mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. But for now... The dry ingredients. Okay. We've got 400 grams of bread flour. Okay. This is a bread. Of course it is, yes. It feels, it 
points, like with all the other ingredients, that it's a bit cake-like, cake, like, yeah. but it but it has it's got yeast, it has got bread. Yeah. Cheers. Um, and we're going to add uh, a teaspoon, not a teaspoon, far too much, half a teaspoon of salt. Am I going too fast? No, I don't think so. No. Um, no. Let me just give that a mix. Now, that is all we can do until that yeast has started activating. Oh. Yeah. Right then. I know. So it won't take very long, um, but we're going to give you guys, in fact, you can see it's almost covered the milk. It has. But we're going to give it a minute just for that to uh, grow a bit further, and then we'll come back. Um, so just five minutes, go and put the kettle on, make yourself a cup of tea, come back. Okay, so the yeast has now, you can see quite a lot of mm. kind of, it's almost it's cloudy on top, like quite fluffy, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that into uh, the flour, so you can, you'll be able to see the lumps. Um, go into it. So you've got all the milk and then this like floury kind of... It's a funny mixture. It's a bit like the kind of stuff you see on the, the river getting washed up on the yeah, side. It is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I know that really sounds mean. really undesirable. <laughs> well, it, it doesn't look particularly desirable at this moment. No. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to mix that up um, there's a, I said there's a lot of leaving this, yeah. a lot of letting it rise and knocking it back down. So it does require a bit of patience. Mm -hmm. It'll be worth it. It will be worth it. Yeah. yeah it's not like the easy um, bread recipes that you've done on the other workshops. This is uh, proper technical stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I mean, we've, we've got some really quick recipes. We've got chocolate truffles, mm -hmm. um, the um, pesto palmiers. Uh, a nice and quick, mm, and, yeah. well, the cocktails are nice and quick, quick and, and, yes. and good to drink. Yes. Uh, th there's lots of fun um, little workshops, and there are a few that just need a bit longer. Yeah. Um, and this is one of them. But if you've got the afternoon and you're doing other things, I mean, to be honest, you could do this and then go and put the washing on. You, could, and, yeah. you know, you're not tied yeah. to it. Put Christmas it's, tree up. Yeah, exactly. Um, Which would be a quite nice thing to do, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Um, it's just... Wrap a few prezzies. Yeah, it just takes that bit longer mm. um, to finish it. Yeah. So I'm just going to scrape down the dough. Oh, bear with me. And, and bring that into one ball. Right. That came together well. It did. So, I've got ooh, the bread flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and the yeast mix in that bowl, and that's all I've got. I haven't added the eggs, the butter, the sugar, none of that's gone in. It's just um, the, the flour and yeast mix. Um, so, what we need to do now is cover that bowl and leave it for 45 minutes. Um, and, and then when we come back, we're going to add the extra ingredients. Um, so with a bit of cling film. Or, Where do you need to leave it? Well, I would say a warm uh, area is always good. Um, so a nice warm room. If you've got a dough-proofing um, facility on your oven or your microwave, uh, you could use that or a dough-proofing drawer. Airing cupboard? Airing cupboard would be a good choice. I mean, don't leave it in a room that you've got a door open at the moment. It no. just it won't activate enough. Yeah. Um, so cover with a damp tea towel or, or some cling film yeah. um, and leave in a warm area uh, for about 45 minutes and then jump back on again and we'll do the next step. So our um, dough has had a good 45 minutes. Um, it has... It has grown, but there's nothing massive oh. about it. It's, oh, it's not impressive. No, no it's no. not impressive. Um, but we're going to add the two eggs. Um, do you want to do one? The whole egg. The whole egg. There we go. And we want to put in 60 grams of, <laughs> 60 grams of Sorry. sugar. It's been on the, on the Prosecco. Um, Which is carver this time, isn't it? It is carver. Um, and then a drop of vanilla. 
There we go. Um, and lastly, 150 grams of soft butter. So mm. softened butter. Mm -hmm. You could use margarine for that, but I do like oh, no. butter. Butter it does add to that richness, doesn't well, it? It's Christmas. You it is. It is. This is not a uh, like cheap and cheerful. No. Time, so we're going to bring that into the dough. I've never actually thought of another recipe that you do this no, with I the can't. existing dough. No. Panettone isn't something that I really make, to be honest. It's not a. I, I think if you're again, if you're a bread maker, yeah. this is probably your Christmas one to do but yeah. as a, a predominantly cake maker yeah, it's not, it, something. It's not. I've never made it before so it's a bit of a weird one because you can't mix it in you you've really got to um you've got to break that dough down yeah you've got to break it down could you use like um a dough hook yeah i think if you have to if you have a dough hook on a mixer i would definitely do that i think it'd be easier to combine wouldn't it? at the moment this is feeling really alien yeah. Because um, it's slimy and it's sliding everywhere in the bowl, and I just want to stir it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm having to kind of try to push the and to sort of butter cut the dough, in. Aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm like pushing it. I almost want to get my hands in. Yeah. I yeah. think that might be the way to go, you know, guys. Right. I'm going for it. Oh. Dubai, that's me. I am. I am. How old has she been on the car? <sighs> Might goes. need some after this. Right, so if I could show you without it sliding out the bowl, it's really gooey. So I'm going to have, I mean, uh. um, so I'm going to really mix this together. Okay, okay, okay. So it is coming together. I'm going to have to stand up because it's a bit of an odd angle for my arm. Um, but it is ever so loose. It's really, I mean, it's not a dough as much as a batter almost. It's... It's That's a, I would call it a sloppy dough. It, yeah, it's very sloppy. Yeah. Um, so it's everything is screaming at me that this isn't the right texture. Um, but if you think of um, a panettone, it is so light yes. and rich. It is almost a bit more cake-like. It's a kind of combination of cakey yeah. bread, isn't it? Yeah. So I think we have to give it the benefit of the doubt. And um, I'm going... <laughs> I'm going to use, um, uh, I'm just going to scrape the bowl down so it's all in the same area. Yeah. And then I'm going to cover this and leave it for another um, hour and a half to two hours um, to do its thing. And then we'll come back uh, to do its final um, knockdown and add the fruit before we uh, leave it, well, leave it again yeah. to uh, rise in the, the tin. The whole time you're just trying to get more and more and more air. And it more is, it is. It's adding to the richness and adding more air. So I'm going to, I'm going to sit down again, um, we're going to put some cling film over this mm -hmm. and then uh, again leave it in a nice warm place for an hour and a half to two hours um, so that it can rise. Right, we're back with the panettone. I've got to say, that is the wobbliest looking uh, dough mm. I've ever worked with. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed on this. So I need to knead this. I've got a horrible feeling it's going to go everywhere, but we'll, we'll go with it. It's got a lot of air in. It has got it a lot. It looks like a sort of witch's cauldron. It's still it, it does. Look, look, it look. is still bubbling. Yeah. So I'm going to Put, put quite a lot of flour out because I think it's going to need it. It's going to be very sticky, isn't it? It's going to be really sticky. So let's just do another lot and see how we get on with that. So I think I've never dusted a board more, but I think this is going to slop out. Look at that. Gosh. It's so, so sticky. Sorry, guys. I'm going to turn the bowl on you for a minute. Um, I'm going to have to put some flour on the top of it as well. I might have to give you control of the flour because I think I'm going to get into a right mess here. Um, but we really need to knead this and then add the fruit. I start to feel that go firmer. Mm -hmm. It did say it was a sticky dough it and it did say you need to um, uh, put some flour on your hands. Um, but I, I think that I think that needed a bit more flour to begin with, maybe. But look, it has yeah. it has yeah. come into its own a bit. So maybe I'm being a bit tough on the. Uh, 
you always How touch on yourself. No, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I, well, I th- what, try and keep it light. And, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's it's worked very hard, hasn't it, to it be has. that kind of softer. Yeah. Right. So, now we've got this soft, less gooey dough. And actually, that didn't take as long as I thought, no. but we were very generous with the uh, flour there. Yeah. And I just worked it until it quickly came together. Um, and it really has now. I'm, I'm quite impressed, actually. Yep. Uh, I don't know with what us all eat. But, um, <laughs> so I'm going to put in the fruit. So I'm going to put in about half of it and then fold it. You didn't pinch that one. I didn't. Oh, yeah, I haven't tested it. See, I'm quality control, and I was just making sure that You're just the fruit checking. got the brandy on it. You can smell the brandy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to put a bit more in there. It does smell good. I think I say that every time we cook at the moment. Like, oh, that <laughs> smells, smells good. good. <laughs> right. We're getting there. And at least this time we're not hungry because we did eat in between. Yeah, um, we have been eating. Yeah, it's nothing worse than doing something like this and being hungry. Right. Uh, let's put the last bits in. Now, what you're going to need to do um, with your uh, panettone dough is, <laughs> I hate to say it, uh, leave it again, leave it again uh, <laughs> for 45 minutes. But it is the it's last time you're going to leave it. It's quite temperamental, isn't it? It could be feeling very neglected now. It, it could, it's yeah. It's left a lot. Yeah. Thinking time. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to put a bit, I think because we've got the the liquid from the brandy, it's gone a little bit softer still, but it's still manageable. You can see my hands are pretty clean compared to the state it came out of the bowl in. Mm. Um, so what you're going to want to do is get a six inch tin um, and you... Escapee. Thank you. Um, and you want to uh, put parchment paper around it, but double it up. Because I'll show you. It's called making a collar, isn't it? Yeah, it's a collar. So can I give that to you for a second? Mm. So you can see that the baking paper is all the way to the base, but it's standing, you need it to be at least twice as tall. So you're giving it a chance to grow uh, within that. We're not expecting it to grow to here. No, 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 no. About there would be good, though, wouldn't it? would be fantastic. Oh. I'd be so impressed. I, I would, because mm. it's, not, it's not a regular, in fact, it's not a really one for me. This no. is... This is a kind of first for me. Well, it is a Christmas one, isn't it? Yeah, but, you know, we try to give you guys different things to have a go at. Um, and, and we couldn't possibly do this on one of our live workshops. No, so no. it was a great opportunity to have a go. Uh, and for me to have a go, too. Mm. So I'm quite happy with that. What do you mm. think? I think it's looking good. It feels... It feels soft. Well, if you can feel it now, you're not going to get as close. Oh, yeah. But it feels really soft. There's yeah. something a bit different about this. Yeah. And I think it is that rise and fall and that sloppy... Well, you could tell from that sloppy, it, it was almost like um, when you were brewing something. It was so much... Yeah, yeah, it was still bubbling. Away. It was actually um, So we'll see how this takes. Now, I do know, and I don't know if we're going to do this. Mm-hmm. We'll see. But I do know with panettones, when you bake them, mm-hmm. if you can... You let you let them bake, so, um, and then when you take them out, you cool it on the rack until you can touch it. But then you're supposed to tip them upside down, and it stops it collapsing in on itself. Oh. But you've got to have the structure to do that. You've got to have something. So I think you'd have to use like long skewers and poke through and hang it upside down, or stand there just holding it upside down for a long time. So, <laughs> so my job. Um, <laughs> So the, the recipe doesn't call for that, but I do know that it's traditionally... It's, not, it's another one of those things she's making. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Everyone's just standing there. <laughs> Please send us your pictures. <laughs> With your upside down panettone. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is... And that has grown. I'm sure that didn't start no, off that size. So we're going to pop that into the uh, tin... Six inch tin. That is a six inch tin. If you don't have a six inch, well, a six inch tin um, and you've got a seven or even an eight, you can use that. It's just not going to get the same height. But maybe you will. Maybe it will just yeah. grow. But make sure you've got a collar just so it's got more area and then you can peel that off afterwards. So we're going to leave this now for another 45 minutes. Oh, poor Panettone. <laughs> well, you can enjoy carving it up when we're done. Uh, so 45 minutes. And then you're going to bake 
after that time at uh, 190 uh, Celsius or 180 for fan or gas mark 5. And we're going to bake for about 50 minutes until it's golden. 50. 50, 50. Uh -huh. um, So, yeah, let it rise. Uh, so we maybe cover the top as well. Give it 45 minutes. And then in the oven at 190 or 180 for fan or gas mark 5. And we're going to cook for 50 minutes, 50 minutes. Um, until it's golden, and actually, if you've got a skewer or a kebab stick, you should be able to poke it in the top, mm -hmm. and it, if it comes out clean, then it's done. Which is a bit more of a cake thing to do isn't again, it? isn't it? Yeah, so this is a very confused uh, cake. bake bread, bread cake. <laughs> yeah. Workshop. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, we will leave you with your palatonis, and we'll come back when it's cooked. I think. So, uh, see you later. See you later. Bye. Much later. <laughs> 50 minutes, and my goodness, it has smelt amazing. It, it did rise nicely. Uh, so, it's, I'm actually pretty pleased with this so far. So, we need to tip it out of the tin, um, which we're going to do together because it's, it's still really quite warm. So, you ready to catch this? This could go horribly wrong. Well, then it'll be all your fault. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> right, let's put that over there. Whoa! Wow! I am so happy with that. That looks like a panettone, yes. Yeah, that is definitely a panettone. Um, I'm not going to cut into it right now. No, um, it's very hot. It's, it's very hot and that needs to uh, cool down. So do leave them to cool um, and then... I suppose if you want to get fancy and you're going to give it as a gift, you could wrap it up in a bit of, um, I can't think of the word, the, the, the wrap, the plasticky wrap. Cellophane? Cellophane, that's the word. Um, otherwise, let it cool, mm -hmm. put it in a tin uh, or a container and enjoy the slices of it yourselves. I can't wait. It smells, I mean, it smells like a panettone, but it smells <laughs> like a panettone. <laughs> a proper um, one. <laughs> a proper panettone. So I hope you've enjoyed the workshop. Um, if you've enjoyed this, remember we've got 12 in the lead up to Christmas. And of course, we've got all our other workshops on YouTube. So subscribe. So definitely subscribe. And if you'd like to say thank you for the workshops, uh, it's not needed. We love baking, but we do have a page at buymeacoffee.com forward slash boozy bakers where you can buy us a virtual drink. Uh, enjoy and have a great Christmas. Bye. Bye.